ladies and gentlemen, I'm the CHAL L Dogs to Born Bob Bell for Theme Parks. This is a theme park news and update from SeaWorld San Antonio. And we may just have what they're going to be investing in in 2023, their flume ride on that old log flume site. Now, before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell to never miss a video. All the socials are at the bottom of your screen and in the description down below the video as well. Use the Google link to share your video concepts. Uh, don't forget we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers and a million views. Can't, still can't believe I'm saying that. So please, please, if you're enjoying the video, please do do that as soon as possible. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what is going on with CEO San Antonio because we may have just what they're investing in next year. Now, this is the brand new concept from Intamin. Uh, this is their Flume Booster. And um, this basically is a 23 second video on your screen right now. It shows a flume boat getting pulled up onto what looks like a launch track with a countdown beginning 3, 2, 1, then fading to white with the words now available flume booster, along with the sounds of a revving engine in the background. While this clearly is just a teaser, we are expecting more of the new technology in the near future, and I believe that SeaWorld will be the ones to reveal it first. Now, if you look at the coverage of the leap plans for the upcoming SeaWorld San Antonio flume ride, which is on your screen at the minute. Uh, the speculation based on the plans that the flume rides layout uh, did indeed look like it was intended to be some feature some kind of yet to be seen launch system or flume booster. See where we're going with this. Uh, to shoot up the boats down a flat section of the track and then up and over a coaster like hill before dropping down into a flume style drop on the other side. This is giving a pretty big indication as to what is coming to see us on Antonio next year, uh, and that is this flume booster style element on the attraction. Now, do I believe 100% that this is what's coming to the park? Yes, I do, and the reason why I do believe that is because I think, like Screamscape said, this fits very much in touch with what's happening with the plant. Again, shout out to park fans for the plant image. Um, and a shout out to Intamin for the video, for the video teaser. Um, me personally, like I said, I think in terms of the style of this attraction, I think this could be really, really good. The theme of this attraction could be nicely done. Um, this could be a really lovely ride to uh, see in the park and invest in the park. And, um, you know, me personally, I feel like this could be a really nice attraction, a really good investment for the park. And uh, for me, I think this could be a really nice, um, you know, sort of one of a kind attraction for the park as well. I think it's got some uniqueness about it. And I think it's that flume boost that gives it the most uniqueness in terms of the main aspects of the attraction. So I'm really excited to see the full announcement. Hopefully it shouldn't be too long now uh, for the full announcement of the attraction. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what see what San Antonio does with this. So thank you very much guys for watching this video make sure you do like comment, subscribe socials are on the screen down below and the description below the video and for now guys i am the chall dogs to born but both theme parks keep living the coast life and that is full time that is your end of the video as well thank you very much and i will see you all in the next video take care guys have a flume-tastic day